Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make banana bread. First, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then, in a large bowl, we're going to add half a cup of room temperature butter and one cup of sugar. Then, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. This process is going to be easiest with an electric mixer or a stand mixer, but if you don't have either one of those, a whisk will be just fine. It's just going to take you a little bit longer and it's going to be a little bit more work. After a few minutes, your mixture should look nice and creamy. Next, we're going to take a small bowl and whisk two eggs together. After our eggs are thoroughly mixed together, we're going to combine it with our sugar and butter mixture. For this mixture, we want to whip the whisk back and forth really quickly so that the mixture becomes light and fluffy. In the same bowl that we mix the eggs in, we are going to mash together three overripe bananas. To tell if you have overripe bananas, you want to make sure that the outside skin is mostly brown or even black. If the outside skin is still yellow, then it is not ready to become banana bread. When you mash the bananas together, you want to make sure that you're not over mashing them and that you're still leaving a few chunks of banana in there. Once you add your bananas to your wet mixture, you want to gently mix them together so that you aren't breaking up your bananas any further. For the dry mixture, we're going to add two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of iodized salt, and one and one half teaspoons of cinnamon. As you can see, I'm using a sifter for my dry ingredients, but if you don't have a sifter, that's okay. All you have to do is make sure that there's no large clumps of flour in your batter. This was the moment that I remembered that I didn't have enough loaf pans, so I decided to make muffins as well. So I made sure to oil my pans really well, and then I'm filling each muffin about three fourths of the way full so that I allow it room to rise when it goes into the oven. Then I started filling up my loaf pan. After scraping the bowl completely clean, I realized that I didn't have enough batter for the loaf pan, so I started to take out some of the batter from the muffin pans. And so I ended up with one loaf of banana bread and six muffins. I put both in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 minutes and then reduced the heat to 350 degrees. Then after 15 minutes, I took out the muffins and then I took a toothpick and I checked them for doneness. When you're checking for doneness with a toothpick, you want to make sure that there's no wet batter on the end of your toothpick. Then after about 30 minutes, I took out the loaf and checked that for doneness as well. My 
muffins and my loaf were ready to go and my family was super ready to dig into these muffins. Mm -hmm.